Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the perfect thick grilled pork chop. If you haven't had a thick cut pork chop before, prepare to have your mind blown. These are so juicy and flavorful, they rival almost any beef steak. You can buy them in your grocery store, but you may have to ask for them to be specially cut. Just talk to the man or the woman behind the meat counter and ask for a one and a half to two inch thick pork chop. Trust me, it's worth asking for. The first step is gonna to be to season up our meat. We're gonna keep the seasonings super simple because with any nice cup of meat, it doesn't need much to really sing. Drizzle a little olive oil right onto the pork chop and rub it down all the sides, bottom, top. Get it nice and oiled up. Then take a generous amount of salt and season the meat. It's a culinary sin to not season pork well. It needs a lot of salt. And if it doesn't really just blow you away on that first bite, try adding a little more salt because it really makes pork taste flavorful. And I like to pat it in a little bit so it sticks to it. And then I'm gonna finish it off with some freshly ground pepper. Pat that in as well. All right, we'll just let that meat sit and soak in the seasoning. Next, you're gonna need an oven safe skillet. I'm using my cast iron grill pan. Get the pan heating over high heat. We're gonna sear our meat with this. At the same time, get your oven preheating to 400 degrees. Once your pan is smoking hot, place your meat right down into it and we're gonna let it sear on each side for about two minutes. After two minutes, flip it over and let the other side sear. After that side has had a chance to sear, turn off the heat and put it directly into the oven. Our pork chop is going to finish cooking in the oven. My rule of thumb is five minutes per half inch, but you can always use a meat thermometer for the most accurate results. Pork needs to be cooked to an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at that. Let it rest for five to 10 minutes before slicing into it. This gives a chance for all the juices to reabsorb back into the meat so you have that perfect, juicy pork chop. Mm. It may be simple, but the results are incredible. For the full written recipe, visit my website, www.thestayathomechef.com. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up to let me know and subscribe to my channel for more awesome recipes. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. See you later. Mm.